One month after an Ogden man was shot and killed by police, his family is speaking out for the first time. They say police used excessive force and they're sharing their own home surveillance footage of that incident. ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen speaking exclusively to the Ogden police chief about why he stands behind his officers. Ogden police say they were responding to calls of a man searching through cars in this area on the night of August 16th. The family of that man, Giovanni Mercado, say he was standing in his own driveway when he was shot and killed by police. Drop that knife! Body camera footage worn by Ogden police shows Giovanni Mercado with a knife in hand, ignoring multiple commands the night he was shot and killed by police. His family provided their own surveillance footage of the incident. Their attorney says Mercado was not an immediate threat and the fatal shooting was excessive. You hear no threats. Uh, you hear no, you see no lunges or running or sudden movement toward these officers. Last Tuesday in a city council meeting, Chief Watts said he stands by his officers' actions and that they will be cleared to go back to work. The aggressive posture, the speed at which he was covering the ground, and the inability of officers to move further away uh, in that very narrow time frame of roughly eight seconds to react to this, to this event, eight to ten seconds, gave them no other options. Sykes disagrees and says noncompliance does not justify deadly force. Mercado's father says he's taking legal action because he doesn't want this happening to anyone else. It's horrible. I mean, no, no father, no parent should be going through what we're going through. That was an assassination, that what, what they did. Sykes says he hopes they can come to a settlement out of court with Ogden police. But if that doesn't happen, they plan on filing a civil rights wrongful death lawsuit against the department. Reporting in Ogden, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News.